Welcome to another episode of Life and Whiskey. As always, I'm Jordan, and today we're going to look at Jack Daniels' very own Gentleman Jack Double Mellowed Tennessee Whiskey. Um, another Lynchburg, Tennessee product. 80 proof, 40% ABV. Uh, I got this $3.75 for $13.09. Puts it in the, uh, you know, 26 to $30 range for Gentleman Jack. Um, go ahead and bust into it and see what we got going on here. So, Gentleman Jack, new category of whiskey, Tennessee whiskey. Uh, it is a legally recognized category by the TTB. Um, there's only a couple of states that have their own legal recognition um, by the TTB. Um, Texas just recently got its own designation. So we got Texas whiskey. We have Tennessee whiskey. Oddly enough, Kentucky does not have its own Kentucky whiskey category. Uh, even though, you know, bourbon, Kentucky is known for bourbon. Bourbon whiskey's um a category, but Kentucky bourbon is not a legal category by the TTB. Um, Tennessee whiskey is, and we'll discuss that after we get into this bottle. So, um, I've never had Gentleman Jack before. Uh, this will be a complete blind taste test here. Uh, when I had Jack Daniels in the past and I did the Jack Daniels whiskey review, um, I got a very odd note out of it that I had never gotten out of another whiskey before. It had a Laffy Taffy fake banana smell to it uh, in the nose. And I think I even got a little bit of that on the, the actual flavor profile, which was interesting. So I'm kind of curious to see where this goes and what's in the glass here. Um, 80 proof, 40% ABV. It's a bit thin. Um, it's on the very bottom uh you know floor of proof that you can have to still be considered whiskey as noted in some of the other videos be whiskey it must be at least 80 proof screaming out of the glass banana laffy taffy uh banana laffy taffy and ethanol are what i'm getting there's a little bit of uh like a touch of brown sugar in there Maybe a vanilla wafer. Yeah, definitely banana. Banana Laffy Taffy. Not not banana fruit, banana Laffy Taffy. Interesting. All right. Maybe after a sip or two, we can pull some other stuff out of there. I want to say there might be some oak. And maybe like an apple. But it's like very close to being non-existent. So like if you if you smell that or get that out of the glass, I would believe you. But it's not easily recognizable at the moment on the taste. Watery thin profile. Caramel. Oddly enough, the sweet is tamped down. Um, just really, really thin, dark, medium. The finish is where things kind of pick back up. You get oak, um, a really mellow oak, a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit watery, and a little bit of an ethanol punch slash black pepper in there, but not, um, not a lot of anything. a really tough profile to work with it's extremely rounded and extremely watered down um i mean the flavor is just not kicking out of the glass at all um i'd be curious to see you know what this comes out kicked up at a higher proof at like 90 95 uh percent uh at like 90 95 proof uh it would be very interesting to see if this actually goes somewhere because 
Um, it just, it's not doing it for me. Not worth paying more than what regular Jack Daniels is. I will give it the, the you know, the smoothness test. Um, it's so smooth because there's just nothing there. It's just watery. Um, in the nose, that banana is tamped down and there's a weird, I don't know what it is. It's almost like a citrusy, like cleaning product smell. Not like super chemically, it's, it's still got a sweetness smell to it, but it's kind of citrusy, zesty. Yeah, I yeah I don't know. Uh, if, if I had a choice between this and regular Jack Daniels, just go with the regular Jack Daniels, uh, Gentleman Jack. Um, it's just not bringing anything to the table that is uh, worthy of paying more than what you would for just a regular bottle of Jack, in my opinion. Um, I mean, it's not bad. There's nothing off-putting about it. It just doesn't have any real flavor to it. Yeah, um, you know, it might be a good intro into whiskey, if, or into, uh, like a bourbon category, maybe. Um, you know, somebody who you don't want to overwhelm with flavors and nuance, here you go. It's like, uh, water with some caramel in it. Um, just nothing, nothing, <clears throat> there's nothing interesting to talk about when it comes to the gentleman. Um, yeah, that's really all I got to say about that. Go with the regular Jack. Uh, but you know what? If this is all you, by all means, maybe I'm missing something. Let me know. I, I'm curious. Um, if you're a, a gentleman fan, yep, let me know. Let me know what I'm doing wrong here. Um, drop in the comments down below what you can find a bottle of gentleman for gentleman Jack, uh, in your area. Again, you don't have to buy the bottle. Just next time you're in the liquor store, take note of what it is, uh, what the price is that, I mean, and drop that down in the comments down below so we can kind of build a category, uh, or uh, sorry, a library of whiskeys and prices in different areas around the country. Um, yeah, uh, that's really disappointing. Gosh, I was hoping that would be so much better. Uh, maybe, maybe proof has something to do with it. All right, so there you go. Hope that's informative. If you got anything to say about that, please drop it in the comments down below. Um, and that's really all I got for that one. So Tennessee Whiskey, uh, Gentleman Jack, I'm thinking we could do better. Uh, Jack Daniels can do better. I don't know if running it through, if that's what they did, is run it through that charcoal twice if they managed to just filter out all the flavor. Highly possible. And if you take that and then further cut it down to 80 proof maybe you just end up with water in the bottle which is what it seems like um or i'm just missing something but uh there you go there's my review gentleman jack uh drop in the comments down below what you can find a bottle for in your area and uh, i appreciate you following along with me here if you have any comments drop it down below if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel um appreciate all those who have already and uh, if you got any video ideas, I'd be open to hearing them. I'm starting to try and figure out where I want to go with uh, the life videos and the different whiskey reviews. Um, so if you got any comments on any of that, I'd like to hear it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.